And that song went on to spark a light because the Go Stetsa versus Go Brooklyn. That's us. So, yeah, that's the same. It's the same, same shit. Mm-hmm. Same right. Same crew. Right. Right. Y'all pioneered that. That's and right. That, and then everybody sampled this. has been all through. And everybody sampled this. Her. Thank, big shout out to her because we get a plaque coming from her because she sampled. She sampled. And she made sure that we, 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 our plaques are coming. We appreciate it, you know. Mm-hmm. Cause we be thinking like, yo, y'all sampling our records. We don't really can we, can we get a plaque at least? And yeah. so shout out to her. We appreciate it. Actually, I saw her a few months back when we was mixing stuff. So shout out to her and her peoples for making sure we get our plaque. LL yeah. on the, on LL the, sample uh, for doing it well. Doing it well. We sampled it on that. The dog, yeah. Brooklyn, all that. Yeah. I heard that on multiple records. I yeah. think you're from Brooklyn. You use that. And one of your records. Yeah, right. facts. If you're a rapper, you know yeah. what I'm saying? From right. Brooklyn, you use that Go Brooklyn. Right, exactly. At least exactly. on one song. Somewhere. At least, yeah. At least. Right, right. And didn't you, didn't you, what, one of the more famous versions, MC and Ma, people call oh, Bill. Bill. T- top of the audio, too. That was, was all in the right. background. Which was produced by Daddy O. Of the son. groups that's yeah. right. the lead in, One of the lead MCs of the right. group. Right, exactly. And it says mm-hmm. on the record, Step Productions. It says it. On the record, on Pride Records, it says produce, uh, it says Stetsasize. We used to call our records Stetsasize instead of produce. It would say Stetsasize by Stetsasonic, mm. is, what, is what we would call it. Let me kind of clear everybody how we got the name Stetsasonic. Delight, one of the, uh, fa- actually founder members of the group, MC Delight, came up with the name Stetsasonic. Right. Stetsa means style, and Sonic means sound. So that's how we came up with the name. Our style was we wore all white. Every time we did a show, we wore all white. We got that from our talent show days prior to my Michael Jackson days. <laughs> we got that from our talent show days where we used to wear the white gloves and pop lock and all that, and we would wear all white. And people used to go crazy when we came on stage with all white. Because everybody else would just come Right. Well, Looking godly. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. everybody else would just come on stage with whatever they had, like Pumas, or some people would get on with their sheepskins, and we would just come on with all white. Like all, and people used to be like, ah, oh, and we would come on, we would do Just Say Stead, which was the, it wasn't a record yet. It was going to be a record. Mm-hmm. And we would do that. If you can't say it all, just say Stead, because people couldn't say the full name Stetsa Sonic. It was hard <laughs> to say. It's like Stetsa says, oh, if you can't say it all, just say Stead. Right. And that's a lot how of we, spitting in the crowd too. Right. <laughs> exactly, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's how that's how we came up with the name Stetsa right. Sonic. But that that's how we uh, uh, we came up with the chant to go Brooklyn was when we did the Go Stetsa record, mm-hmm. and everybody wound up sampling. And then and then therefore, like you said, therefore on we we were working a studio called Calliope Studios, mm-hmm. and that's where the Jungle Brothers. That's how they got to, they, they were all, I don't want to say under us. So let me just say they were kind of, we were all coming up in the same time and era. But they was like, yo, I see what you guys doing. They could, we was all like pretty much working out the same thing. I was getting ready to tell you a fun fact for everybody that needs to know. And this is going to be, I'll tell you about this in a minute when we talk about it, the unsung that we got coming out in January. Mm-hmm. Um, the group De La Soul got their name from us. Hmm. If you go to the Stessa Sonics On Fire album, which is our first album, you can Google it, and go through the titles of all the songs on the album, On Fire, Go Stetsa, Faye, whatever song. There's a song on the album called Rock De La Stet. Rock De La Stet. De La, right. La Soul demo was sent to Monica Lynch at Tommy War Records, of his company we were signed to. Right. And they had it on a desk for a while, didn't know what to do with it. Until Prince Paul got hooked up with Mace. Mace used to live in Brooklyn, but he moved to Long Island. Right. And then Mace was like, yo, Prince Paul lives in Long Island. He lives down the block from me. Yo, let me give him the... So Paul got hooked up with... You say Mace. Mace from uh, Maceo. the DJ. DJ. I'm right. sorry, Maceo. Maceo. Yeah, yeah, let, me, yeah. let me correct that. Right, Maceo, the DJ from De La Soul. Right. Yeah, exactly, called the Maceo. I'm about mm-hmm. to say, I've never seen Mace in Brooklyn. Right, no, <laughs> I apologize, you're right. So Maceo. So Mace got hooked up with Prince Paul, but their demo was already on the desk at Tommy Boy because daddy presented it to them. Right. They didn't get interested in, into it until Paul took a song that they was working on, plucked tuning, and Paul flipped it to that burp, 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 flipped it, slowed it down and flipped it. And once Paul did that, it was open. But they got their name from De La Stet, 
Did they say that? Did they ever? Yeah, get an Mace, talk, or... Mace talked to you could Jimmy okay. Fallon. Okay. So you could go, go, Google, Google the Jimmy Fallon show. Wow. He t- the Mace gives a he, Mace tells Jimmy Fallon the only reason why we happened is because Stess and Sonic, because Prince Paul lived down the block from me, and Mace said I lived in Brooklyn, and he said I thought I would meet everybody from Brooklyn, but when I moved to Long Island, I meet a guy who lived down the block from me, who's in Stess and Sonic, right? Who's from Brooklyn except for Paul? Paul was the only one who was from Amityville. He mm. wasn't from Brooklyn. Right. Right. So, d- yeah, you can all that all that information you can you can. That's dope. That's not even a problem. And that but was the DJ. Prince Paul. D- Prince Paul. Prince Paul was, was our DJ. DJ. Right, he was our DJ. St- mm. Still our DJ to to this day. Um, but they got their name from us, Rock De La Stet. Mm-hmm. Instead wow. of Stet, De La what? Did y'all work? Together? With De La Soul? Yeah. I did De La Soul. Um, I did a couple of songs on them. Um, not produced, but I did a couple of vocals on the, um, the De, La, De La Soul is Dead album. Mm-hmm. I did some stuff on, on that, that album. That's a five mic album? That's a five mic album. Right. Mm-hmm. I did some vocal that. tracks on that because Paul was this, Paul is a loony kind of guy as a producer. He, Paul will like, if it's like you talked about the short sleeve jacket, Paul can find a record for it. I'm not talking about right. shit. But I'm just saying, that's <laughs> Paul's mind. Right. He'll find a record for it. They're like, it's got to be, an MC got to be dope to come up with lyrical content mm-hmm. for that. Did you know he was on that kind of time when he was a DJ? Because Prince Paul gets shouted out as one of like the founding producers when it comes to that sound, that era, that era, not even just that sound, but that era period. Did you know that? Yeah. Was he on that kind of time? That yeah. You as a drummer mm-hmm. who's also, you know, could program beats and, and mm-hmm. set it up and knock it down. Did you know that he was on that kind of time yep. then? I'll tell you why. When we did... When we was on, when we was on that, um, damn, what the, what the, the dope jam tour. I keep trying to remember the name. It was the dope jam tour. Mm-hmm. That was the tour. Rakim was on it. Eric, Eric B. Rakim, Dougie was on it. Um, LL was on it. It was all of us on it. It was that tour. We were the only group that shared a tour bus with another big group. And we were the two, we were the two underdog groups. Mm-hmm. Cause y'all guess who were the two underdog groups? I'm gonna mention all the names who was on that tour. Eric B. and Rakim. Mm-hmm. Dougie Fresh, mm-hmm. of course, Run DMC. Um, Kumo D was on it. Fat Boys was on it. Can you think of the other two acts? Underdog acts who was on We're talking about 1987 now. 87. Everybody do your math. 1987. Yeah. Two groups that was on that tour that was coming up. 87? 87 on that tour. I'll hey, t- you got this one, Matt. <laughs> hey, man, you don't think uh, I can tell it to you if you want me to? I want to guess tribe. No, no, or tribe or, was way after. Or I will tell you, Jungle Brothers. Nope. All right, I guess, uh, Jungle I Jungle Brothers came in eight, the beginning of '88. But you said you met up with them. That's why. That's why. I thought right, about they that. came in '88. But, but right. I Public Enemy and Stesasonic. What was Public Enemy ever an underdog group? 1987, it was. How would I ever consider one of the, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame level band as an He's up- saying in 1987, no, I get that, but that's, that's, that's cheating. Like, there's we, no way I would think of them as an We underdog. were the two groups that shared a tour bus together. You're talking about six, seven member band and, and damn near 15 members on a 12 bunk bus. And that's when the De La Soul album happened. Chuck D will tell you this to himself. Chuck D would tell you there's three albums that came out of that 1987 tour. Takes a Nation of Man, in full gear, De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising. Mm. Wow. Those were the three albums that came out of that 1987 tour. Prince Paul on the bus. And we all playing songs to each other. Yo, we heard heard the De La Soul album, the Three Feet High and Rising album album, way before we was in... Way before he even got released in uh, in '89, wow. on that tour bus, mm. and Chuck will tell you the story himself. Three albums came out of that that uh, out of that tour. Takes a nation, in full gear, and um, three feet high rising. It's hot for trap trapper turned smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby.